you had a famous beef with Eminem <laughs> that got <laughs> squashed, yeah, yeah. right? Now, uh, you actually, that, that beef was y'all was going at each other. And then it was at, at the, we were the only guys that battled on Napster, honestly. I think. That, wow, that Napster, Napster. Napster. throwback. <laughs> yeah. Now you got a shout out from Eminem on Marshall Matters too. Um, was it re- was it a relief for that to be done with? I don't. It was never. I mean, it was never a stress factor. Okay. It was. It was. The only time it became a stress factor, honestly, is like, um, I didn't really expect when we had our initial problem and it was purely personal. Like I, I felt slighted by him mm-hmm. at a, at a meeting, like our first initial meeting, I tried to shake his hand and just kind of felt like I got egged and mm-hmm. I was like, Oh, okay. And then I put a little kind of sub, what they'd call a sub tweet. Mm-hmm. Or something like, <laughs> the first of the sub tweet. Song, right. And we had evidence which, here. Which he, got he, them he in trouble, which really wasn't fair. Cause they rode for me when they were asked about it instead right. of like folding up, you know I mean? They were my boys, right? but they shouldn't even have been involved in that. But just to see what, you know, if, if if it would get noticed and it got noticed. And the funny part was that I got called from B-Real because at that moment in time, they were managed by Paul Rosenberg. Mm-hmm. Cypress Hill was. So my brothers are managed by M's mm-hmm. manager. And, and they asked me like, yo, M heard this record and he's just curious if you dissed him. And I was like, so he thinks, you know, so he take, so he's taking notice of me all of a right, sudden, right? right. <laughs> so I was like, I, my answer literally was like, well, what if I say yeah? Um. <laughs> and b was like, well, you know he's going to come at you. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? And then uh, I kind of forgot about it. It didn't, he didn't come back at me for a, a, a couple, maybe a couple of weeks. I kind of mm-hmm. was like, okay, whatever. And then that, well, you couldn't put records out as quick as what it was. Right, it had to be a whole now. process. Now you can and he do put it right. on the B-side of a of 12. And it was a, a record called Quit or Quitter. Or, uh, Quitter. Mm-hmm. And it was like, skate. it was like, yeah, I'm old. I'm three years older than this guy. Right. Like that, so I laughed at that <laughs> right. at this point. Uh, and, but then it was like, you're old, take a heart pill. And I was like, okay. It was nothing that was like, all right. You know, mm-hmm. that, you know. The problem was when he bled over into that alternative market. Mm-hmm. Right, and this was, and I don't even think this was purposeful by their camp at all. Because during this whole beef, whatever it went on for a year or two, like when I was in New York, if, if I was hanging out with people and Paul Rosenberg was there, and it was like we're going somewhere else, I jumped in their van and went. To right, the, which, I remember the first couple of times going like, "This is cool, right, Paul?" You'd be like, hey, "Come on, get the fuck out of here." We right. know so many people in common. <laughs> right, me and this dude. And then lethal, lethal was in Limp Biscuit at this time, right? Yeah, for me, it was never about making a record to get paid off of him. You know, that's why I never released anything. It was on, it was digital. It was on, I put it on Napster. Right. You know what I mean, the, 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 the actual one disc record I made, the first thing that started, it was like a, a line mm-hmm. in a, in a verse, you know? Um, so what I didn't count on, cause I was like me and this dude ain't even in the same worlds right now. So this mm-hmm. is just fun to me. Right. Is that when that record bled over <laughs> into like all the alternative stations, right? And I don't think, again, I was. this is where I was, I don't think they did it on purpose, but the record stations would start having their summer festivals and their Christmas shows, their big shows, that, and they would want Eminem to play that. Mm-hmm. All right, so I really, you know, got the feeling quite a few times that <laughs> they, I wasn't getting invited because they wanted them to play it, you know? Right. I mean? And again, I don't think they were being directed by Paul or anything. He's being like, because I know all these dudes. Mm-hmm. It was just the facts and the politics of the game mm-hmm. that we were mad at each other, and perhaps me playing that thing might have might have um, kept him from playing. Right. So that's the only way that thing ever really hurt me, mm-hmm. you know. As far as that, and it, and it wasn't that, you know I've never been the one chasing the ring like that. So it was all fun to me. Be Hi. real, who was also on the show, said that uh, there was another record that never came out. There, I was right when it finally was like, about, like when Be Real kind of intervened, mm-hmm. and and I tried to get on the phone with dude honestly, and it just didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but Be Real intervened and was like, you know, here's here's let's let's approach it like this, and I was like, fine, bygones, mm-hmm. be bygones, I'm cool with that, whatever. But um, at that moment, there was it was a whitey forty style kind of thing. It wasn't really it, it wasn't really hashed out. Okay. You know what I mean? It was something there like that was. Funny more than anything right, right, else. Right. My approach again was like trying to be funny You're about fun. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll say in hindsight, the only thing that 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 I would have done different is he thought in the first rec- like li- record that I did a little line about him on in Dilated Peoples. Mm-hmm. 
I say something about Haley's comment at that. I didn't know his daughter's name was Haley, right? Mm. But he got very upset about that mm -hmm. part. And then that got exposed that he knew so much about, or he was so upset that he thought I had said something about his daughter that I, I used that in the disc, the second disc, like to mm -hmm. kind of, eh, eh. not like I didn't say anything about the ch child, just like right. use the, the emotion of it. Like, okay, I'll, I'll, he was about to go to jail or something. And I said, I'll look in on your kid, what, you know, drop, you know, like that kind of mm -hmm. like little jam. Right. I wouldn't have done that if like at this age with a, as a parent, right. two dogs, I wouldn't have done that part. Right. right. That's the only part of that side that I would say like, ah, I regret that part. How did well, the it, rest of it was fun. How did it feel having beef with who was like one of the biggest musicians in the earth at the time? Well, that, that happened during the course, kind of. That really, his, his es escalation, by no means the beef being a reason right, for right. it, but he became Elvis as we were having that little tussle. You know I mean? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. black music so selfish. I didn't count on him bleeding into all markets. Right. Just, you know I mean? right. <laughs> just the so. one little one. <laughs> right. Stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow, go with it.